Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Log Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Thank you very much for being here again. Two videos in one day because man, I screwed up the last one, didn't I? Screwed up the last one. Apparently, sim ticket controversy is not over. I'm wrong. And I'm okay with being wrong. Um, I'm okay with being wrong. This video here, we're going to go ahead and talk about it. I, I, as you can see on the screen right now, posted a video that said Sim Ticket Crisis Averted Dragon Champions update. Um, all right. Lost subscribers. Yeah. Three down votes. Right, I got I got Mr. Tom Thompson Thomas not whatever Simon unsubbed, right? All right, well might be I'm gonna end up losing a lot of subs here in a minute. If you are new around here, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell. Uh, you are not gonna like my opinion um, on this controversy at all. Um, you are not going to like my opinion at all. I'm just gonna tell you right now. I think that if you're not willing to support the game monetarily for a dollar, then don't play. That's my opinion. 85 people have watched this video so far. I've obviously screwed this up. I make mistakes. I'm only human. However, my opinion on this, the reason why I was excited that it didn't happen on my account is because I didn't want to give my opinion on it. Now I am. My opinion on it is, is if you can't support a dollar, don't play. You're not helping anything anyway. Truly, if this is upsetting you, if you are so mad that you can't spend a dollar, hell, spend two dollars, get your energy refreshes and get some extra stuff, and then you have your auto tickets. You can auto as much as you want, right? You can auto as much as you want. My opinion on this is not going to be popular. It isn't, and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it having an unpopular opinion because I love this game, I support this game. The developers deserve our support. Uh, they do, they care. They put go up. I mean, they just do. They care. They go on to the Discord. They drop. They're in constant communication with us. Talk to us, right, guys? I've never been a part of a gaming community that has this sort of out, this sort of outreach from the developers. Now, and they're they're like this on the regular channels, guys. The regular channels, the Russian channel, the German channel, the Polish channel. I mean, look at all these things. Right? Talking to us about what's going on in the game, knowing what's going on. Yeah, I know I screwed up the initial coverage of it. It looked like it was good on me. I messed up. You know, clear disclaimer in the beginning of the video, though. I told you I hadn't looked at this so very much. It looked like it was working out. Maybe I was wrong. Obviously, I was, and I'm okay with that. But what I'm not okay with is the outrage. The outrage for unwillingness to spend money in this game to get auto battle tickets now i get it there's a principle here don't take away something somebody's already had right i get it i understand that that can be frustrating but the fact is if you love this game you would support it and if you want to play the game you're going to support it and by supporting it means monetary they don't get anything there's there's no way to keep the game afloat and to grow the game without monetary support and I support that. And here's how I do it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not telling anyone they have to spend money. I'm simply telling you that, you know, for lack of a better word, stop bitching. If you don't want, if you, if you want auto battles, put up your money. Put your money where your mouth is. If you don't want it, quit. Don't play the game. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I support the game every month. $15, very minimum. 15 bucks to play this game every month. And I'm not doing it to get rich on YouTube, right? I'm not doing it to get rich on YouTube. I'm not, I play the game because I enjoy it. I give you my opinion because I enjoy it. I think this game is great. I think the developers in this game are great. They get it right most of the time. And in this regard, they need the funds. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it. And they're putting it at such a low amount. Why are we complaining? I'm not going to complain about this. In fact, I'm going to tell you, if you're going to complain about it, you're wrong. Put your money where your mouth is. I know there are free-to-play games out there. How many other free-to-play mobile titles do you have that you can play and actually get somewhere and be competitive? I, none, probably. Try doing this in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Try doing this in Marvel Strike Force, right? Try not to spend any money in those games and see how where you get. All right? See where you get. 
see where you get. I spend at least $15 a month on this game. And I do it willingly and I do it with a smile on my face because these developers deserve it. That's it. You can call me a brown noser. You can call me whatever. I'm not getting paid by them, right? I don't get paid by them. I don't get support, you know, promoted by them. This is my opinion, right? Yes, I have the money to play the game. Yes, I do. Yes, I have the money to have an account full of things. But I give you guys my honest opinion every single time, right? I honestly thought I was right. I was wrong. More than happy to admit it, right? More than happy to admit it. Right? I was wrong about the sim tickets, but the fact is, is that this isn't a controversy that should be worked up about, right? In the process, in the process of coming out with something that they knew was going to be unpopular. And I don't know that they know this, but I'm pretty sure they understand that coming, move, removing something from the game that people already had and putting it behind a paywall, even a small one was going to be unpopular, that they turned around and gave us drag coins for our sim tickets. Everyone got free money. Who does that? Who does it? Nobody. They didn't have to do that. My earlier video, I got some 5,000 free drag coins. Let's just look at the market for this game, right? Let's look at it. Go over to the bank, 5,000, right? It's roughly just under 40 something dollars worth of currency. And they did that for me and they did that for everybody else. And there are people who have a lot more than I do. They just gave away hundreds and hundreds and probably thousands upon thousands of dollars. Thousands and thousands of dollars in drag coins to people, to everyone. If there was a controversy here, the con yeah, that, it, where's that at guys? Where's the thank you? I'm going to say it. Thank you. Thank you. Right? I don't know. I'm not speaking for them. But if it were me, that's probably, that's what I think. They gave that to us. They gave us the SIM tickets saying, hey, look, I realize it's going to be unpopular. That's what it looks like. I think that we should be grateful that we have developers who care enough to think ahead, do hard, make hard decisions, and then give us a reward like free drag coins. They didn't have to do that. They didn't have to. They gave us free drag coins, right? Just free for the sim tickets that you had. And then put for anybody who hasn't spent in the game a small paywall to auto sim. All right. I, I will tell you one more time that if you're not willing to support the game monetarily, in any sort of way whatsoever, then you're not helping the game grow. And I'm disappointed at this particular point. I am disappointed in the fact that the community is upset by this. Yes, it's a free to play game. Yes, you can play it free to play. But the fact is, these type of hero collectors games, you are not going to go number one in tournaments. You're not going to be able to, you know, be competitive on your shard if you're spending no money. Now, if that's not the reason why you play, that's fine. There, nobody, nobody's telling you you have to be competitive. What I am telling you is that, in my opinion, if you're going to complain, you're going to complain about having to pay a dollar right, to get auto battle tickets, then you're probably not the people helping the growth of the game. You're not. And I understand that that's an unpopular sentiment. I understand. Right, you can unsub. I, I truly, right, if you don't like my opinion and you want to unsub, that's fine. Right, clearly I got it wrong. But my opinion on this is my opinion. My opinion is... You're not helping. You're only hurting the game. Right. So, with that all being said, if you if you think if you think I've got it wrong, 
put it down in the comments section. Um, I'm more than happy to have this. Um, Zeri, uh, wanted to just send a shout out to you. You and I obviously disagree here. Um, let's let's talk it out. Uh, I think that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, let's talk it out because I've obviously I screwed this up. I put out a video. I should have done more research. I should have been uh, better about it. That's on me, guys. Um, if you're upset by that, then I will take full ownership. But my opinion is is that if you're not if you're not willing to spend the dollar or two that it takes to get past that paywall. Don't play the game. All right. I hate to be so negative. Um, I, that's not really what I like to be. It's not what I like to do. Um, but that's my stance. Uh, if you if you are new around here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.